Hi there, welcome to the Newfoundland Outsider. Well, we just got off work. It's Friday evening. We're going into the remote cabin for a couple nights. There's a few things I want to do. Moose season is just around the corner, so we got to get some things ready. We just saw a little moose back there. That's last year's animal, been driven away by its mom. So when the mom drives away her baby, it's not very nice. She don't wean them off for a month or a week or even a few days. But one day she'll just rear up and attack them or her, just like she would a wolf or a bear. It's very violent. Nature's cruel. And before he knows it, she's gone. And the poor calf is just standing there wondering what the hell just happened but that's how they do it and then the calf spends the next month or two trying to find its way trying to find its own territory its own spot where to go where not to go and that's when you see them on the highways and the roadways So the water is uh, nice and clear today, but the other day I was here after a rain and it was all muddy. So I'm not sure if upstream they have a filter on it. I never installed it. It was here when I bought the cabin. Okay, seems like they got a jug or something here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean that and get a filter system over that jug. It's not a very big reservoir there. So when you do get a bit of rain, it fills up with silt really quickly. So we made it in, we got all the gear in. I brought extra gear this time because I'm going to do a bunch of rentals. I'll just show you what I'm going to do. It'll be raining the next couple of days, so I'm not sure how, how it's going to work out. But I got to remove that little patio because I got to finish the walls before the winter comes. And I got to take out that old door. Step two. So there's a couple moose hanging around the trail. So if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.
and I'll try to keep them coming every second Sunday at four o'clock. There's a couple of little tracks and a couple of big tracks since the last time I've been here. Cow and a calf. We're gonna go for a nice walk later. But first I got a leak in the roof. Last time we're in it was raining and I got a bowl in here and it was almost filled up. So I gotta repair the roof before we go for a walk. So that's where I took the stove pipe out last time. And I don't got quite enough uh, roofing cement on there. Because when it rains, <clears throat> fills my bowl. We're supposed to get rain for the next couple of days. <clears throat> I hope we don't get too much because I want to finish cutting up that bit of birch, putting into our woodshed. But now we're going to go for a little hike and take in our trail cams and see what we got on there for footage. Hopefully we got some good moose footage. We had a great hike, saw some new country, got used to the path there and the lay of the land. I took the trail cams in so we can check for moose or bears. So let's go back and see what we got on the trail cams and we'll call it a night. I was bound for leaving, but I didn't know where. All the things that kept me there, I couldn't find them anywhere. But a phone call this morning, it nearly brought me to my knees. Now I'm heading back home again, thinking of the words that you said to me. We were riding down a bumpy road to the place where you were born. I can see you riding shotgun. didn't mean much to me when you turned and said to me that home is just a frozen frame of one place and one time your faith
It's supposed to have light rain today. It's a lot of rain. I'll have to come up with a plan B for my rentals today. I'll have to do something inside. Okay, these are some of the things you don't see in my video. All the things I do behind the scenes when I'm at home or at the camp, I can charge things up. But when I'm out and stay overnight, I have uh, booster packs. I got a booster pack here and a power pack here. So you got to charge your phone every day to run the Zolio and the map system. Of course, you got to bring your computer along if you're going for a long time. And download your SD cards as you go. Then each day you gotta do the drone. The drone controller lasts three times as long as the drone. So every day you gotta be charging up your drone. And half the gear I got in my backpack is camera related. It's got the big camera, two small cameras, got the drone, got the tripods extra batteries, things like that. That's what makes it so heavy, bringing it around. And of course you got checklists. Every day I go buy a checklist. So a full day of what I'm gonna to do today, and then tomorrow and the next day, just to try and keep it all organized. And lastly, it's my watch. I gotta charge my watch every 24 hours if I'm using a GPS, cause it's a GPS system. And I use it for when I'm out in the bush in case everything else goes down. It's a Suntos Traverse GPS system. So you do need a lot of equipment and a lot of time to do it. Well, it's finally getting nice. The sun is trying to come out. It's raining off and on. So we're just finishing up some things inside. There's a bunch of things I want to organize and change in there. Why we got a rainy day. But I think after lunch we should do some wood. I gotta try and clean my old stove up today. Now that we got a shitty day outside. I'm going to clean it all up and I'm going to use high heat barbecue paint and trim it up and do the top, make it look a little better.
that's a little <clears throat> that's a little better I think this was a shelf made of rock. So before I go outside and start the wood, I'm going to build a little bookshelf here. And the rain is coming again.
my chainsaw won't stay going. If the spark plug is flooded, nope. You see that little white beige looking? That's a sign that she's running good, she's not flooding. So, I got another problem somewhere. Wow, what a morning. Beautiful, beautiful morning. I think we'll go try for a trout this morning. See if we get a trout for breakfast. No luck yet. Not even a bite. It's a beautiful morning too. I'll try a couple more spots. We'll hike up to that north pond that I was trying to get to last time. But I forgot to bring my GPS so I didn't know exactly where to go. Just gonna go for a little walk up here on that north pond. I tried to find it before, but today I got my GPS with me. No luck on the fishing. 
and even a bite. So we'll explore for a while, have a look around. Well, I made it to the little pond. Doesn't look very deep. It's quite the walk up here. I just came to explore. I didn't bring my fishing gear. Just want to find out where this pond was. And I've come back here and spend a day fishing. Well, I got one more shot at catching a fish before I get back to the camp. Other than that, it's eggs and bologna. I'll try my fishing glasses. Maybe that's the problem. This is the problem with this little patio. It's making the siding rotten. So we gotta get rid of all that and get it dried up. Remove that old door. Before the winter comes. <laughs> 